Hello viewers, welcome to my new video. In my last video, I showed you how to build this great. Very simple FM transmitter. Very cheap FM transmitter module, which I'm going to be using in this video. Plus an, um, a very cheap Bluetooth module. So it takes input from Bluetooth module. Um, and obviously transmit then via the um, FM transmitter. Extremely easy to build this. And I've got very good results. I tested this in my car, I got one and a half miles plus, honestly. You know, for 9 milliwatt, I think it was a 9, just over 9 milliwatt RF output. Don't sound a lot, but that can get you fired if you've got the antenna well off the ground. But in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to run this through a very cheap Chinese made RF amplifier. I think it's about 3 watt, a 3 watt amplifier. So, potentially, I'm going to improve the RF output of this by about 300 times plus. And do it very cheaply, so you can make your own 3 watt FM transmitter. For not much more than what, ten pound, ten UK pounds? I don't know. Was that about thirteen, fourteen US dollars? Huh? Should build it. Okay, that's what we need to do. Is get the transmitter module out of the packaging. This is exactly the same as this one. They're very, they're very good. These are. I've ordered a load more of these. They're great for little simple projects. And um, they work well. And they've got a great display. They're very simple, but more complicated, the more problems. There we go. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to solder in this RF SMA RF lead. So, I'll chop one end. I'll probably keep this quite long because, in a video after this, I don't know when I'm doing that next one, I'm going to be putting this into a box and having a variable RF amplifier stage. So this will be a fixed 5 volt voltage, but the RF amplifier will be very buff from about 7 watt, seven sorry, seven volts to 15, which will probably be about half a watt to what, just over 3. So let's solder this in. Bit of flux, always helps. Okay, let's get ready to um, solder this in. Lovely. Okay, we're all plumbed in. That's a nice connection, so just some decent solder in there. Now, that's the um, transmitter side done. So what we need now is the um, RF amplifier. Now, it's quite a small amplifier actually, I was quite surprised when this came in the post. I have removed it before, so I'm not going to pretend to open it. Right, you know. There we go. That's a tiny little um, RF amplifier. It's got, it's got an eight sync. So if you are using this, if you're using this at maximum power, so you know 14, 15 volts, at three, three watts RF output, you're definitely going to need a fan on it because it will get hot. So look at you know, compared to this, you know, similar, similar size to the um, transmitter, isn't it? So we'll be putting this into a box eventually. We have an uh, adjustable RF output on this, so I'll have this at fixed five volts. This would be an adjustable, an adjustable RF output stage. Should connect it all up. Well, first thing I need to do actually is put some, um, put some power cables into the um, amplifier. Now 
Okay, that's the um, transmitter on the um, RF amplifier all done now. So all we're going to do now is rig it all in. So we're going to obviously connect the RF output of the transmitter to the input side of the amplifier as such. So next, the output. I'm going to be running this into my um, the RF meter, my dummy load. That's the RF output. It's going to go straight into my meter. Before we rig this up to the amplifier, we're just going to test its output just to make sure everything's okay. So it's going to go straight into this cheap milliwatt RF power meter. And these are quite accurate for, for the cost of them. Okay, I shall switch it all on. Oh, the transmitter works. That's good. I think we need to set this to about, about 103, 104, something like that, for its maximum RF output. Okay, I think you might get some flicker on this. I'm showing 10 D, exactly 10 dBm. I don't know if you can see that, I will take a picture. Uh, it's showing 10 dBm. Okay, so I'll rig, rig it all together now, shall we? Here's our amplifier. The output's rigged in now to the um, RF watt meter. Plus dummy load. So I'm going to just screw the input of the... Um, well, the input from the transmitter, that's in there, as you can see. And all we need to do is power up this RF amplifier with my um, adjustable power supply. Okay, folks, let's see how this tiny little RF transmitter and RF amplifier performs. Here's my variable power supply. Great little thing that is, cheap, about right, 70 quid from my um, Good old China. There's the RF meter. 150 watt double load. Great. Okay then. Prepare the transmitter on. Here we go. Should see if we get them both in at the same time. Let's, let's turn the output on. Oh hoy! Yeah, I'll set it to 7 volts and we're definitely getting half a, half a watt. Okay, let's crank it up, shall we? Eight. Nine volts, nearly one watt. It's oh, a bit disappointing, really. Twelve volts. Yeah, one and a half watts. I'd have thought that'd be a bit better. Its maximum is 15 volts. And we're getting just over two watts. Right. Let's have a as a three watt at ten milliwatt RF input, so something's definitely wrong there. Actually, this is a cheap RF lead with SMA connectors on from eBay. I normally use much better ones because I, I work in the telecoms industry and I normally get some of these from redundant telecoms equipment. Oh, these go in the bin, but now I'll collect them. So I think what we'll do, we'll try one with a, a good quality lead. Because that's definitely just over 2 watts on 50 volts. No, it's definitely not right. Crank it down to a 7. Let's try a different one. What we'll do, we'll try one with a very high quality connector and lead. You don't get better quality than this. Okay, folks, we've plumbed the, um, the other transmitter module in now. It has got a shorter lead as well, that will help as well, to be honest. Okay, we're powered on. We are 102.3 megahertz. Let's try again. The power leads are a bit closer than that. <coughs> so I'll go down and touch. Yeah, put on 7 volts. Just under a um, just under half a watt. Okay, should we crank it up? Right. Right. So that's better, isn't it? 
12 volt. Got it just over 2 watts. Let's give it its maximum voltage then. 13, 14, 15. Oh, that's nearly 3 watts. That's a lot better. Just shows you, doesn't it? That lead. Oh, this one's rubbish. And it's a lot longer, I twist two or three times the length, but there we go. It's not bad, is it? So what we're gonna do, I'll be putting this into a box. Now the RF power's gone from 10 milliwatts to well, nearly three watts. So it's a lot more power. So with a nice dipole antenna, you know, um, 20 feet off the ground, you know, you're going to get a few miles with this. But I don't, obviously don't recommend doing anything illegal, you know, against the law. But these are, you know, experiments. I hope you have fun with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short video. If you are going to build one of these with the amplifier, I do recommend you use a low pass filter. You can buy this cheap off AliExpress. About nine, ten pound. That was like 13, 14 US dollars. I do recommend one of these, it cleans up the um, signal. You know, it filters out a lot of the harmonics. Stops, you know, your transmitter interfering with other people's equipment. So I do recommend using a low pass filter. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I should do another video when I've got time. Oh, stay safe.